All right, what's going down, everybody? This is Hutch, bringing you a game of domination on Karachi from my boy, my boo, my man, my man love Trump. Yes, it is Trump. Or Trumpy. Hey, hey, that's only you can call me that, and and Bobby. Question: Would you go down on a guy for fifty thousand dollars? Oh my! All right, we start the video off with this, really. Oh my! We're starting it off with this, Trump. Um. It's a serious question. You never know when that situation could arise. Fifty thousand dollars. Cash up front. No, no questions asked. No taxing. Asked. Tax free. Tax free. Tax free. Uh, I, I, I might. I think. I think I'd say yeah. Even if the guy said, "I want to savor this, <laughs> go slow so I can enjoy it," I want a twenty-minute BJ. Uh, fifty grand. That's fifty grand tax free in cash. Money talks. I, I, I gotta say, money talks. Money. <laughs> if, if okay, okay. If the money is right in front of your face, and he says, "There you go," and he and he gives it to you, or he deposits it into your bank account, and says, "Now it's your turn." You're saying you would say no? I'm not saying that. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. I'm laughing right now because it's funny. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I've had many conversations like this. I, I played poker with this one guy who was like a total meathead. He went to the gym all the time, and like we were uh, we were playing poker with him one night, and he was talking about how like gay people gross him out and all this other stuff. And I got him to tell to admit that he would uh, suck a man's penis for the ability to fly, like. <laughs> <laughs> and he like immediately like I was like what if and I gave him like all these mo all this money like two million five million and I was like what if you could get the ability to fly and he was like the ability to fly fuck yeah I'd suck his dick and then we all made fun of him for weeks and oh, weeks oh, after oh, that hold on hold on you cannot make fun of someone for being able to fly I don't care what you did if you're flying you're doing work okay <laughs> think about this think about this I'm not no we didn't make fun of him because he said he would suck dick for the ability to fly. We made fun of him because he was such a homophobe and here he was like admitting to doing something like that. I mean like I think I would suck dick for the ability to fly. Are you kidding me? I would do fucking fly. I would do a lot of things for the ability to fly. I mean I mean think about this, think about this. You you and Julie are just out one night, and you know, eh, what do you want for dinner? I don't know. Let's uh let's go to Paris. I'm gonna take you to Paris tonight. And you just you just fly. Superman style. And she, her her eyes would light up like a Christmas tree. Like it'd be amazing. You know, oh. Julia wants to, Julia wants to travel like she wants to travel like crazy. We don't have a whole lot of money right now because we just moved, and she's feeling it, you know. So she would love that, man. I could just sweep her up and take her to Paris. I mean, yeah, I mean, fuck yeah. everyone would love be, that. This is this is a question of the day for the comments forum. If somebody, if a mystical genie who was a man with an eight and a half inch erect penis told you. <laughs> That he would give you the ability to fly if you went down on him for 20 minutes, would you do it? <laughs> and why? Or why not? I want full details in these comments, people. And, um... Anyways. And, and on, in the comments, do not leave all these, oh, you're fucking gay, uh, you suck dick for this. Like, no, no, no. This is, this is a hypothetical question, and you're not, we're not here to, uh, produce all this hate and, uh, animosity towards, uh, gay people. So little do you know, little do people know, it's not the things you do that make you gay. It's the things that you are that make you gay. Does that make sense? Like you can be gay and suck dick. I mean, I've never sucked dick. I mean, if Trump here were to present himself in front of me nude, I don't know what I would do in that situation. But I'm a straight man. But like that what makes you gay is wanting penis near you in or around your mouth. Not actually having it in or around your mouth. A lot of male gay porn stars, actually, uh, they're not even gay. It's like you have to get your start in the porn industry by doing gay oh, porn. Oh, well, well, yeah, first, yeah, because I, I remember uh, reading an article about a guy that uh, he actually started off. Um, I think his name was Matt Stone. He's a really, really buff porn star. And he started off in uh, gay porn when he was uh, 19 years old. And he, he's not gay. It's just he had to start there because that's where the money is. Because if if you watch porn, how many how many of you are actually gonna go, ooh that guy you know that guy is packing? No, you're looking at the girl the whole time. <laughs> I just, oh. 
<laughs> it just doesn't work. I'm telling you. You have to look at the girl. Mm-hmm. But uh, th- th- so you, so you and me, you and me have been playing this game together for uh, quite some time now. About two years, year and a half, a something year and like a half, that. I think it is. Uh, oh, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to end this. This uh, tell me when it ends because the video is buffering slowly. Yeah, well, well we have uh, three minutes left. Right. Oh, the things to talk about in three minutes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You pick something. Trump, go for the topic. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, you put me on the spot here. What, what, what would you say is your favorite thing about this game? That's a, I, uh... I, it's going to be cliched, but I love the fact that there's no juggernaut. Like, the painkiller is sort of an issue. Like, if, if you're playing with a good team and you're just spawn fucking the shit out of them on, on domination, then, if, yeah, of course you're going to see some painkiller. But if you go in, like, a mercenary team deathmatch game or a free-for-all game or if you're playing against an equal skill team, then you really don't see it that often because, you know, you just don't. But no, no juggernaut, and the fact that I, I like the snipe more than anything else is, is definitely a, a positive. That and the fact that I just feel like everything's a whole lot more balanced this time. Let's talk about the model 1887s. Do you think that they are just? Do you think that they need to be patched? Do you think that? I mean, like I was thinking about today, and I think they wouldn't be overpowered if there wasn't the akimbo uh, option for it. Like if it was just a straight shotgun, I think that would be pretty balanced, but. I think it's the akimbo part of it that makes it just out of control. Yeah, actually, honestly, I see it as akimbo should not be on anything at all in the game. Like, uh, pit, even, even even the USPs are really unbalanced because it takes two bullets from a USP close range to kill them. And now you have two guns with, I think it's like 12 bullets in the clip. And you're hit firing from both of them. It's just, akimbo makes the game so unbalanced. And... I don't I don't think akimbo's the problem. Like akimbo akimbo magnums, like that's a fair trade off. You can't zoom in. I mean you have to be pretty close to use those babies. Well yeah, yeah, but I'm saying like if the guy's pretty accurate with them and you're close quarters, uh and nine times out of well, I'd say probably seven out of ten times, he's he might outshoot you if you have like an assault rifle or an SMG. I'm gonna I'm gonna i di- I'm gonna respectfully disagree with you. I think Akimbo's pretty cool and Honestly, how many people do you see running around with, like, akimbo P90s? I mean, they're out there, but you're pretty limited in what you can do. Like, you don't have a whole lot of range at all. Yeah, but the akimbo 1887s have got to go. Those are are way overpowered. I mean, let's look at that uh, uh, shot uh, you got yesterday, right? Yeah. uh, No, that wasn't yesterday. That was two days ago. But I I will be the first to admit I have been whoring it up with the 1887s the last couple days. My KD went from like 1.45 to 1.53, just basically just from using those for like the last two days. Yeah. And uh, that's not a huge that's not a huge jump, but I have a lot of kills in this game, so it, it takes a minute to, uh, you know, let your KD yeah. climb a bit. And uh, well, that's the end of the oh. game. And I forgot what I went. Um, I think I had like a 6.0 kill death ratio, but that's the end of the game. And. Uh, there's going to be an annotation in the video to check out Trump's channel if you like HD videos and commentary from a sexy half-white, half-Japanese man, boo. And, uh, this is Hutch signing off, and I'll let you close it out, Trumpy. Uh, make sure you rate, comment, and, uh, if you like this video and, uh, more gameplays, be sure to check out my channel because it's full HD and I post quite often if I feel the need to. Peace out!